So I take it you're... Dalish? Is that the correct word here? You know where I'll be. Something you need? You know where I'll be. And... You're back. And in one piece. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? Dorian was sure. Impossible as it seems. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witnessed. Most people have trouble wrapping their heads around the idea. I'm not most people. I appreciate you talking with me about it, and not being most people. If you wish me to speak of Elysian fashion, I may be at a loss. Magical surprises I can handle. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Hello. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Do you have a problem with our new allies? With mages? No problem with mages. I mean, you know some that are all right. My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. Are you just about pranks and revenge, or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease a ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt sprained. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall so someone gets something else. Pish, pish, pish. A lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I'd just get you with a pie or something. Anyway, assassin's a bard's job, innit? No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shite at singing. Is Red Jenny real, or was she always just you and your friends? Don't know. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, there wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? 
Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works, most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. To be clear, I'm not into that. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Hey, all the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Got the door in. Can I get you anything? Eclipsed in the eye of the empire of we are Lysians. Empress of fire, what season may come? We fight for the day you restore our heart and bring us to The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. And finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. I'd like to keep hoping it's a coincidence, if you don't mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. Honestly, I, I think I'll give up sleeping for the foreseeable future. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Something like a banquet. A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end... I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. The Mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. I know you're worried about having the mages here. Give them a chance to prove themselves. I'm not questioning their ability or their intentions, but we cannot ignore the risks. I will not endanger the alliance you've created. We need their help. Any precautions taken will be to ensure the safety of our people and the mages themselves, nothing more. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh. 
I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. <laughs> I am rather clever, aren't I? Close the breach. Then I'll agree with you. Form. Cullen's putting his Templar death. training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kanari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. You sound like you want to head down there and give the troops some pointers. Nah. I'm no good at command unless I know who my guys are sleeping with and what they like to drink. Inquisition's already too large for that. The charges are big enough for me. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Then maybe we need one. I'd be willing. You? Huh. Why you? I've got the mark on my hand. I've sealed Fade Rifts, and hopefully I'll seal the Breach as well. That means you have a skill. That doesn't necessarily mean you should be deciding alliances. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you seal the breach, the Chantry gets off its ass, and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Ugh. The things magic can do are fascinating. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. 